All right, guys, so what I have here is uh, my new containers I'm going to be growing in, and um, there are 22 gallon totes. So, uh, what I had planned was to hook up plumbing. I'm going to do two inch PVC this time around. So, uh, I already did this bucket, so I can show you guys what exactly what I'm doing. Um, I got the two inch unit seals, and what you want to do is get a three inch hole saw because um, you get an inch bigger because this part is not two inches. The inner diameter is two inches. Outer diameter is three. So you want the three inch hole saw. Cut the three inch hole. This is the three inch hole right here. And then what you're gonna do is you take this, you take a butter knife and cut away the frayed the frayed uh, plastic on the edge there, and then this actually just pops right in. Check it out. See this? And that's it. Makes that noise, pops right in. And this one works better because this is a flat surface, and uh, five gallon buckets. I mean, are curved, so they don't snap in as good like that. So um, the flat surface is definitely better on this tote. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drill the last hole on this one. I have to do my control bucket too. Let's see if I can do this while holding the camera. So I got the drill bit in the middle of the hole saw. Act as a guide. Alright. That's about center right there. That's it. Very easy. Get your butter knife. And this works really good. And you can just take your time with this, really. You don't want to make any gouges and mess up the, the clean cut. Okay? So you get the idea. After all that's done, get the PVC pipe, and I took the box cutter, and I made this edge rounded instead of squared off like how this edge is. This is going to stay squared because I'm putting a 90 degree elbow on it. So after everything is all said and done, take some water, lubricate the inside of this, I lubricate the pipe, just water is all it needs, and then I'll take my hand and uh, brace the tote while I push this in so it doesn't cave in and crack the tote um, and hopefully there won't be any leaks so I'll test that out get that going probably make a video before I send it off to the grow partner's house and uh, get that all set up and I'm fucking wicked excited about this man this is gonna be awesome I grew in five gallon buckets the last time you guys remember so upgrading to 22 gallon uh, these things I should have very very large plants um, I plan on scrogging them I'm gonna knock them down and then uh, scrog them probably with a uh, 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 uh, PVC frame scrog so all right that's it All right, so another couple points, other points I wanted to add, and uh, some things I forgot. Uh, control bucket, the control bucket here, seven and a half gallon control bucket. Um, again, using the two inch PVC pipe, two inch uniseal. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the thin walls on these, but. Now, I've seen them used by other people in other videos on YouTube, and I mean, their grows came out fine. Um, I haven't heard any mention of leaks or any problems, so I'm going to give it a go. 
you know, at some point you just gotta say fuck it and just do it, you know, take, take the chance. Um, I'm definitely gonna give this a test run before I actually put, uh, what is it about? So two 22 gallons and a seven and a half gallon. Uh, 44, 57, 51 gallons. Realistically, it's going to be about 46, 47, maybe even 48 gallons of water. I'm definitely going to test it out before I put the almost 50 gallons of water in there. I don't want to have a major leak and have to clean up 50 gallons of water. Alright, so I'm just cleaning up all this stuff from cutting it with the hole saw. Um, like I said, clean off the frayed edges with the butter knife. Take your time with it. Um, funny thing about uniseals is uh, <clears throat> when you squeeze the PVC pipe through, what creates the seal is when you squeeze the pipe through, it makes the uniseal expand and it pushes up against the walls of the tote, bucket, or whatever container you're using. So, uh, Definitely a pretty amazing little thing here. It's awesome. Alright, so I got my PVC. I'm using two foot sections here. This one, this two foot section I'm going to put in the middle. Okay, to connect those two. It's going to go down here, obviously. Okay, that's going to go in there, that's going to go in there. And I'm going to bring them together about this much. Okay, and then I took another two footer and I cut it in half and um, believe it or not, use a handsaw. Um, I was thinking of using a power saw but a buddy of mine, uh, actually my girl partner told me handsaw is the best. So I got the handsaw. Um, these are one foot sections now. I took a two footer and I just cut it in half and these are going to go on the other ends of the tote. And I just took sandpaper and the area where I cut, um, just sanded along the edge just to get the frayed, all the fray, plastic frays off um, and to make the edge a little bit smoother because when I pass it through the uniseal, I don't want to cut it all up. So. so I'll show you what this looks like. Alright, so it's the one foot piece and that's going to go in there. Okay, and on this end here is going to be the elbow. Alright, sorry guys about the video being so choppy, but I was uh, running out of space on my phone, I didn't even realize it, so uh, what I did here is I went ahead and cut all the PVC, I measured everything, um, it's going to be in a 4x4 four four area, um, because eventually I want a 4x4 four four, um, scrog frame to go over this, these two. Maybe I might do it a little bit, a little different. I might do two, uh, two, two by two scrogs because obviously there's two containers here. There's a control bucket. Everything's laid out. Right there is going to be the T. It's going to be the return line that goes to the control bucket here. I haven't decided if uh, I'm either going to use half inch uh, black hose or half inch PVC and just run it here, have another elbow, and have it go straight up and return into here on the top. I haven't decided what I wanted to do yet. It's going to be one or the other. So this, obviously I have to cut in half, and that's going to be my last cut. Here's the elbows. Let's cut like that. Okay. And just follows, goes around. Control bucket. Another elbow. Down here. And you know what? Anywhere along these points, I could probably stick filters and, you know, buy certain add ons and stuff like that. Um, I could have like a three way thing come up here and I can add shit in here or. You know, fucking check for uh, root clogs or whatever. Um, this kind of system is very, it's vers versatile. Um, you could do a lot of different things with it. But um, this is probably the most basic form of it. 
And um, that's all I really need. I don't need any of that extra shit. So, um, I don't have time today, but I'm going to fill this up with water. I'm going to hook up the air stones, hook up to the air, put in the pump, the submersible pump. But it's going to be on the outside, obviously, um, for that return right here. This piece, this return is going to go up into the control bucket. And the pump is going to be right in front, right, right here.